Good morning, y'all. So, I woke up this morning getting ready for clinicals, and I'm in the hospital, y'all. Um, I had to end up coming to the ER because I was having some shortness of breath, you know, weakness, just feeling lightheaded. It's like I got out of bed, and as soon as my feet touched the ground, I felt terrible. So I knew something was wrong, and I was like, oh, my God, I need to call the ambulance because I'm not even going to be able to make it. So I had ended up calling the ambulance, getting my baby together because he didn't get to go to school this morning, and I didn't get to go to clinical. And then when the paramedics came, my blood pressure was high, y'all. It was like 160-something over 101. My heart rate was high. They got me hooked up to all these monitors, and I'm just waiting on my blood work to see what's going on, y'all. But... When I say I've been going through so much, but my faith is strong in God. And I just hope and pray. And I tell myself everything going to be okay. I have been going through so much, y'all, in nursing school. If y'all have been watching my videos, I've been expressing, like, just trying to go to school, being a single mom, trying to still work and manage my bills, y'all, just everything. And I've been dealing with a sick baby. Then I had got sick. Then I had a car wreck. Like, I've been going through so many things, y'all. And then now it's like, I guess the stress is just coming on to me. And then I have a family history of high blood pressure, too. So I'm kind of nervous about that. But right now, I'm just waiting on my results, y'all. And um, I'll be in and out. I said I may as well make a video because I'm here by myself. And y'all, your girl is scared. Like, I'm not even going to lie. I am scared. But I know that God is with me. And everything going to be okay. Everything going to be okay. So I just want to get on here real quick. i probably get back on. I don't want to just sit here and keep recording. Especially that I'm waiting on all my results and I'm nervous. They just took me for a chest x-ray too just because i was having some um chest pain and shortness of breath so they're gonna check my heart and my lungs and everything so yeah y'all that's what's going on right now um i'll be back in in a little bit so y'all i'm back y'all bear with me with the lightning they came in and turned the lights down just because i was catching a slight headache but basically thank god all praise to god my lab works came back good no heart disease or no nothing no blood clots nothing found in my chest or nothing like that y'all because they had to do the works because they were trying to figure out what was going on so basically um i had went into like an anxiety attack and i've been kind of suffering with anxiety for a minute but they prescribed me something for it but i just don't want to take no meds I don't really be wanting to take no meds that, I don't know. I don't want to take no meds that I feel like going to play up in my head and stuff like that. I don't know. So, I, but I used to work out a lot before I started school and stuff. I used to work out a lot, which really helped me. Like I would work out. I would um like meditate and do stuff like that. But since I've been in school, I have done nothing but been in mom mode, school mode, and work mode, just trying to keep everything in order. And, y'all, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I really think with women, especially when you a mom, that's why I think they say, like, it's supposed to be a balance with a man and a woman. Because sometimes as women, our body's not really made to be in that type of mode all the time. We do supposed to be, like, living a soft life, y'all. Like, it's supposed to be that way. But... In this day and age, really, like, it ain't really like that. So, it's just, I think, the stress of just trying to keep everything in order. School is getting hard. I'm working less hours and school taking more of my time. So, the bills and everything is crazy. And I'm just really being transparent with y'all. So, it's starting to, like, kind of, I think, take a toll on me. But... 
I'm going to go ahead and try to try myself a little bit on um, the anxiety meds. And I need to get back in the gym. So that's my plan to get back into the gym working out because that was helping me without anything. Like working out and stuff really kept me like going, kept me feeling good. I felt so relaxed throughout the day. So I just got to take better care of myself. And I just want to put this out there for the moms or anybody anybody because it ain't just moms anybody if you just trying to if you out here working hard and you trying to do all this stuff trying to keep everything in order trying to keep control over everything don't forget to take care of yourself and try to release a little bit of that feeling like you got to be in control of everything and just trust god like don't worry just know that god gonna make a way in every way if he brought you to it he gonna get you through it don't stress and don't worry and i didn't know that i've been stressing myself out a lot like i try to stay calm i try to be telling myself like girl you good you doing good but the body don't feel that way the body feels the actual stress and sometimes you can be under a lot of stress and you don't know it so just try to make sure you taking time out for yourself and taking care of yourself because if you sick or you down bad what 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 everybody gonna do like now i'm in the hospital i couldn't take my baby to school they gave me some medicine not too long ago which gonna probably have me dang knocked out sleeping a little bit so i had to leave my son with my sister and my other sister got to come take me home to rest and to sleep it off because now I'm like, I'm not going to be able to get up with my son. And then I wasn't able to take him to school. So you get what I'm saying? If you're not taking care of yourself, nothing you doing really matter. So always make sure you're taking care of yourself first. I missed clinical this morning. Couldn't afford to miss another clinical. But I'm not worried about it. It is what it is because I have to take care of me first. And I see that now. So... I just want to get on here real quick and make this video this morning and let y'all know what's been going on with your girl. But y'all keep me in y'all prayers. Just pray for me and God got me. I'm going to get through this. I just know now I need to take it easy and make sure I'm back working out, eating right, drinking a lot of fluids and taking care of myself. But I was scared, y'all, because high blood pressure runs in my family so bad. Like I had high blood pressure when I was pregnant which sent me into something called toxemia. It was terrible. So when my blood pressure was that high, your girl was scared. I'm like, no, the family curse is catching up to me. But I got time right now to start eating right, getting myself together, and just keeping my anxiety in order. So I hopefully won't get to that level. But thank y'all so much, y'all. Like I said, keep me in y'all prayers, and I will talk to y'all soon.